Freedom of the press. Prior restraint forbidden. Prior restraint, or censorship in advance, is permissible only in cases directly related to national security. Now, you might wonder, okay, well, what exactly does that mean? Well, there may be times that the media may be aware of something. Let's take, for example, the raid that took out Osama bin Laden. If a member of the news media became aware that that raid was going to take place and decided they were going to publish that, well, that would put, that would put our, the whole operation in jeopardy, including the lives of our service members. So as a matter of national security, that could be censored. Uh, but uh, there has to be a compelling case made that, that it does relate to national security. In Near versus Minnesota, 1931, the court ruled that states could not stop the publication of a newspaper because that action involved prior restraint. In the Pentagon Papers case in 1971, the majority ruled that the government could not stop the publication of secret government documents because it involved prior restraint. Fair trials and free press. The First Amendment's rights of a free press sometimes conflict with the Sixth Amendment's guarantee of a fair trial. After the Shepard case of 1966, the Supreme Court described measures that courts might take to restrain press coverage, including moving the trial site, limiting the number of reporters in the courtroom, controlling reporters' conduct in court, keeping witnesses and jurors isolated from the press, and sequestering the jury. Which, uh, sequestering the jury is basically the process of keeping a jury somewhat isolated. Uh, when they sequester the jury, the jury is not... They basically, you know, return to... Uh, usually a hotel room, and but a hotel room without all the regular amenities. They wouldn't have access to TV or internet. They're really going to censor the information that gets to the jury because they don't want the jury uh, to receive information that is not permissible in court. Gag orders barring the press from publishing certain types of information are illegal and are allowed only in unusual circumstances. After the court ruled that reporters, like all citizens, must testify in cases if called and cannot refuse to reveal their sources of information, some states passed shield laws to protect the media from being forced to disclose confidential information in state courts. And the justification here being that if, if a reporter is forced to reveal their source, their source may not want to share information with them in the future and thus uh, make it harder for the newspapers to actually get information. So many states have passed shield laws, but not all states have shield laws. The founders viewed the press strictly as printed material. Electronic media had not yet been invented. Radio and television do not enjoy as much freedom as other press media because they use public airways. The Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, regulates radio and television. That agency cannot censor broadcast, but it may set standards. For example, they can set standards for acceptable um, language or content. And if it is violated, they can fine uh, the stations involved. Movies in the internet are protected by free press guarantees. And communities may regulate obscenity within limits acceptable to the courts, and of course that varies a little bit from one court to the next. Uh, advertising is commercial speech, and thus receives less protection than purely political speech does.